Oh, boys and girls, it is 3.40 a.m. That behind me there is Luton Airport. And also there is a taxi. I don't think that's the taxi we're waiting for. It's not booked for another half an hour. But any time now, we are going to jump in a taxi, head to the airport proper. There's another taxi. Maybe that one's ours. And then we are on our way to Tenerife. This is our travel day. Well, after much kerfuffle, an hour has passed. Taxi to airport, nice and easy. Checking luggage, relatively easy. Oh, there was a bit of a queue. Couldn't film any of that because I had three suitcases to wheel around. But luggage is checked. We've got through security. I've kept up my record. Of, I think this is six in a row now. I've not been having anything pulled at security. Although, they did make me do the shoes off full body search. <laughs> I thought they were going to ask me to bend over at one point, scan the bottom of my feet while Anna's waiting at the other end trying to guard my laptop. But we are through and we're into duty free, which I've shown you this duty free before. If you want a detailed look at this duty free, then our video from when we went to Geneva, the travel day there was probably the one you want. But one thing you will notice this time is Anna is a lot more mobile. She's now had a cortisone injection, so she is now stickless. And also as a result of checking luggage is bagless as well, or suitcaseless, suitcaseless as well. So she is much more mobile and much happier as a result which means she's going to do some proper shopping. It is 4.39 a.m. Our, our flight is at 6.20. Our gate's not even going to be caught until 5.20. So we're going to mooch around in here for it. We haven't got a lounge booked this time, although we could wander into that if we decide we need to, but with having to check luggage and that not, not opening until two hours before the flight, we figured we'll just kill some time in duty free. There's plenty here. And Anna didn't really get to have a look last time because she was so laden with luggage. Might have to make sure Anna's got a bit more luggage to carry next time. We've been there for ages. Hold your bag up. She bought a massive bag of makeup and M&Ms. And now I've only got 20 minutes to find some breakfast before we get our gate info. It's all gone wrong, boys and girls. We decided to jump into the lounge because the queues for everywhere to eat food were massive. Decent little bit of breakfast, some scrambled eggs. That's a sausage sandwich that I've just assembled. Um, the coffee machine's not working, so I've got my peppermint tea. And uh, there's no bacon, so there's a big queue for that. We got in here at just the right time. They brought out a tray of sausages, and they just went immediately. It's quite busy in here for 10 past five in the morning. Well, we got about 10 minutes in here before our gate was called. Okay, thank you. Very glad that this was free on my credit card, and I didn't pay for this. Oh, okay. £20 to get Anna in, as, which I think is cheaper than the normal entry. As far as I'm concerned, £20 for eff effectively for the two of us. It was cheaper than going to Weatherspoons and getting a breakfast for the two of us. So, works for me. Just wait for Anna to finish in the toilet and then we're going to head to the plane. It's 23 minutes past five in the morning. This is uncivilised, to say the least. 5.34am. We're at the gate. We are on. Leg room check. Basically have none. Love it. about 20 past eight, which I think makes us about halfway there. I've spent most of the last two hours dozing on and off, making up for the fact I got up at three o'clock this morning, which I imagine has been lots of fun for everybody all around me, because as a sleep apnea sufferer, I honk like a foghorn when I'm sleeping. I don't think 
I've been snoring because Anna hasn't woken me up. But I looked over and she was also dozing. So there's a chance we've both been lying here snoring, which would be amazing. We're awake now though. We have arrived. It is 11 a.m. Anna's already moaning it's too hot. We've not even left the airport yet. And I'm immediately remembering why I like to do check, why I like to avoid check luggage and just do carry on normally, because this bit's boring, isn't it? Not seen any yet. Well, after much confusion and coming out in the wrong place and then thinking we were going to miss the bus, uh, we are now pretty much the first people on our transfer bus, which suggests to me there's maybe already one that's gone and we're on the, the, the overflow one, maybe. Do you think everyone from the plane get on the same bus, don't you? I don't think everyone from the plane's getting on the same bus. I think it's unlikely that we're the only people from our plane getting on this bus. But um, yeah, we're on the bus. We're sat at the front, so I am officially driving the bus. Although they're going to want to open that blind so I can see properly. But uh, yeah, I'm going to drive the bus. It's about a 50 minute transfer, apparently. You found air conditioning. It's about a 50 minute transfer. I think our hotel is the last one on the, uh, on the route, which is fine because we can't get into our room until three anyway. So I'm happier on an air conditioned bus than a hotel reception waiting because I'm, I'm no yeah I'm not really the kind of guy who's going to go into the toilets and put my trunks on I don't think no maybe I am we'll see but uh, yeah all, all going well so far I am pretty tired I'm on my second set of travel sickness tablets of the day and they make me sleep but we are on the way it's quite warm here and it's on an air-conditioned bus and still has the fan going We've made it to the hotel, it's quarter past one, which is uh, 10 hours after we woke up this morning. Um, they're just checking to see if our room's ready while well, we have a nice little sit down. I am itching for a, a lie down and a sandwich. So fingers crossed they can provide those couple of things for us at the very least, even if the room's not ready. Looks very nice though. You can see the pool behind. We'll do a proper tour of everything that's here in a video, in another video. But we'll show you around the room in a minute, once we get in. In a minute, he says. Well, we are in. We're, uh, we're kind of below ground. As we got led down here, we were wondering we'd made, if we'd made a terrible mistake and booked ourselves into the basement of the hotel. But allow me to show you what we've actually done. Kind of by mistake. We, didn't, we weren't expecting what is the other side of this door. So we come in and when we first came in, those curtains at the end were closed and the, uh, the guy brought all our luggage in. And then he came down here and he opened the curtains and then he opened the door and then he came in here and he opened this window. And I mean, we asked for a balcony with a sea view. That's all we thought we were booking. I think that probably counts. Let's have a look around the rest of the room though. Um, so this is the H10 Grand Tenerife Hotel in Costa Radecki, I want to say. And uh, it's awesome. We're here for the next 10 days. There's going to be lots of videos from Tenerife. But for now, we're just going to show you around the room. It's been a very long travel day. We've been getting on for 11 hours now since we got up. And lunch is still being served in the restaurants. So we want to get down there and get some lunch in us. So let's have a quick look around the room. I'm sure there'll be more detailed look at the hotel later in the video. So we've got wardrobe, safe. We have a little uh, coffee situation, Nespresso, with a few little Nespresso pods. Uh, no kettle. So I'm not sure how you do the, the sachets. Oh, this is a kettle hiding somewhere else. We've got bottle opener, various beverages, the mini bar and everything in it is all included in our room rate. That gets replenished every two days, apparently. I'm just exploring as I go here. I assume this is another wardrobe with drawers in this time. Um, and then we've got the bed, which is a very wide bed but it looks like it's two beds together. It looks short, but very wide. We have got plugs either side, absolutely crucial for our CPAP machines. And then we've got 
nice size TV, more mini bar stuff. Again, all of this gets replenished every couple of days. And then I think this is just more general storage stuff. Can't even get that open. And then drawers and whatnot here. They've given us wine. They offered us a glass of carver when we arrived. Now I've had us drink. I don't drink at all and Anna can't drink because of her medication that she's on, but we have a bottle of wine that I guess we're gonna to have to take home and give to Lucy. And then lamps, contemplation chair, work area where I can sit and back up these videos onto my hard drive. No secrets have been left back there, but then this is definitely the main event. An enormous balcony that can actually completely seal off so we can shut the balcony off from the outside world. Got our own little table in there that we can hide on. Cactuses out here as well, or an array of cactuses. And I think we open this way as well. So if we want to get out and have a proper look at the cactuses, we can. And we are right next to the walkway. So I suggest we probably keep that one closed. And then like I say, amazing view of the beach, which I think the beach is a private beach for the hotel, I think. We're definitely gonna be spending some time on there, having a little mooch around. Is that one of the other islands over there or does this island curve back round? I'm not entirely sure. And then the other exciting thing, ceiling fan above the bed, which it feels air conditioned in here. In fact, we have got air conditioning control. So we've got air conditioning, but we also have a ceiling fan, which is gonna be absolutely crucial. Uh, quick interruption from slightly further in the future, Kev. Hi, that's me. We're just about to go and get something to eat. I've got to show you the bathroom. Um, so this is the bathroom. Um, decent size, as you can see. Enormous shower. We could have a party in that shower. Should we have a party in the shower? Is that a shoehorn? There's a shoehorn in here. Yeah, let's go get fed. Only me again. Second interruption in this video. Um, this is actually recorded the next day, hence my holiday attire. We've changed rooms. We're in a completely different part of the hotel. The room that we were in, that was basically down in the basement, was lovely. The balcony in particular, lovely. Ceiling fan, lovely. There was one slight problem with it. This door that takes you out to the beach, Obviously people going out to the beach and back into the hotel all day long. They come through the door and then when the door shuts, it sounds like that. It was right next to our room. So where we had that massive corner balcony with the doors that opened up on all sides and the cactuses, basically next to that was the staircase that led from that door down to the beach. And that door is not a soft closed door. It was banging constantly. I would say banging every minute or two all the way through till like 11 p.m. last night, which doesn't sound like a massive problem, but obviously we'd got up at 3 a.m. and tried to have an afternoon nap and we just, we couldn't and it was constant banging, and Anna is having problems with um, anxiety and heart stuff combined at the moment, that basically every time the door banged, she was getting a big jump anxiety spike and her heart was racing, because some of the medication she's on is causing her to have racing heart rates. She's already got an appointment for, with the cardiologist to just check, but we think it's a medication side effect. You don't need all the details of that, but what you do need to know is the reason we changed rooms is because basically every two minutes, Anna's heart rate was spiking up to like 150 beats a minute because she was getting shocked by the door banging. So we've changed. We're now on the sixth floor of the hotel. So it's not one of the fancy privilege rooms anymore, but it is still a very nice room. So um, we've got a slightly smaller uh, wardrobe situation. Although I would say, ow, trap your fingers in there. I would say we've actually got hanging space around those dresses now, which we didn't have in the other one. Even my shirts, there was a shelf that was stopping anything from hanging fully. So we have actually got some hanging space. So that wardrobe is better. Then through into the bedroom, it is a little bit smaller. So we don't have the ceiling fan. The bed is still enormous and it's actually a little bit softer. We had a little bit of problems with the bed last night, didn't we? Um, we don't have the massive lamps on the bedside tables anymore, which means our CPAP machines will actually fit. I had to actually move the lamp off of there. Um, there's yeah, I had to move the lamp onto the floor to put my CPAP machine on. Um, 
there's generally less space. It is a smaller room with more of an echo. I apologize about the echo. Um, but we have got a clock radio, which we didn't yeah. have in the other one, um, and a more comfy armchair. This, I was a little disappointed because I thought we hadn't got the mini bar in the fridge, but it's actually in here. That's not drawers, that is the mini bar. This is all still included in our rate. It only gets refilled every two days, but we've gained the system by basically getting everything replenished. The one thing they haven't given you is more Haribos. Oh, you've already nicked them. I was going to say, she had the Haribos from the other room. I thought they'd not given her new Haribos, but she's already nicked them. But we do still have the Nespresso machine. They have only given me three pods because I used one this morning. So that's a bit rascally. Um, but otherwise, everything is what as expected. Only have four cups of coffee in two days? I think it's one per morning, isn't it? So there's two people in a room, oh. two days. So it gives you one cup of coffee a day. They do also have, I, I questioned this this morning. Um, they also have little sachets of Nescafe, but there's no kettle. So I don't know if you can get hot water out of this thing without putting a pod in, but I've never tried it in the one we've got at home. But yeah, it's still, still decent sized TV, et cetera, et cetera. And then the balcony is smaller. Oh, I'm trying not to smash the camera. The balcony is smaller, much more of a traditional balcony, but we have still got the sea view that we paid for which is nice. You can actually have a proper look around the whole of the area that we're staying in now, which is really cool. You actually get a little bit of a sneaky preview of the resort tour that will be coming out in a future video. So we've got one of the pools down there, a little hot tub on there. This is all our hotel. Um, we've got another little area of a little jacuzzi. The main pools are actually around the side here, so you won't see them today. Gotta keep you wanting more. Um, but what we've also got, which we didn't have on the other one, is a towel drying rack, which is cool because there is signs, or there was a sign on the balcony of the other one saying, do not dry your towels out here. So we had nowhere to dry our towels before, but hold on, Anna's calling me back. We have Wi-Fi. Oh, we can actually get Wi-Fi in yes. here, can we? The Wi-Fi signal was so poor in the other one, there was no way we were gonna be able to do the live stream that hopefully you've already watched. But if we've got Wi-Fi in here, the live stream should be back on, <laughs> fingers hot, crossed. So. Um, but yeah, the previous room, it was, oh, uh, you'll know by the view, that building there, the one closest to the beach, that's basically the, the restaurant. If you drop down, or one of the restaurants, one of the restaurants is here, this is a separate restaurant, but our room was directly below this far right corner of that restaurant. The restaurant was directly above us. When we were in the shower this morning, you could actually hear them banging and cleaning the floor in there. Um, and the little staircase, you basically go down these stairs here, and then there's a little door underneath that bit of AstroTurf, and then you walk through a corridor, so the door out into the beach is right there, right next to our room was, and it was just bang, bang, bang constantly so so i actually think this is a much better room very happy with the upgrade we've still got nine more nights here to enjoy our upgraded room and i think from having this more aerial vantage point it's going to be that little bit easier to give you a proper feel of the resort in that video when that comes up as well which is another big thumbs up moment i am going to be less confident flying the drone off of this balcony though i had plans from the other one to fly the drone and then off the balcony and then land it back onto the balcony again not a chance am I going to try that on the sixth floor of a 10 floor hotel, but uh, yeah, happy with that. Um, I guess I did already say goodbye on this video yesterday, but I'll re goodbye it because we've made it much longer with a second room. This way you get to see both sets of rooms in the hotel. I mean, we've obviously not slept in here yet, but on first impressions, I think the rooms here in the main hotel, which are a little bit cheaper, we are going to be trying to wangle some kind of upgrade somewhere to balance that. I actually think this is a better room than the privilege room down in the basement. Don't you? This is what we were expecting. When we booked it, we expected a big high room looking out over the sea. We didn't expect to be on the promenade next to, I mean, literally, I could have leaned off the balcony in the other room and knocked the ice cream man's hat off from down below. So this is much more private, much more like what I was expecting. I'm very happy with this upgrade or downgrade. No, I really am. The only thing I think we're gonna miss is the ceiling fan because the aircon in the other room wasn't great. But I think if we shut the door, the aircon should be better. You know what we should do? You know where we got that magnet from? Yeah. They had a fan, so when we get your first... Well, there you go. We can go and buy, go and buy some fans from the... <laughs>
from the gift shop down the road. We went there sh shopping last night buying magnets. But uh, yeah, we will wrap the video up here. Um, we're not actually filming today. This was supposed to be a rest day. This is the day, this is our first full day here. So Anna spent the morning sleeping by the pool while I've spent the morning being my normal hyperactive self. And I went, yourself, yeah, I went swimming. I went for a walk. I've read an entire book, Atomic Habits. It's a good book. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make Anna come to the beach with me this afternoon, I think, and I need to get some ice cream in me. But we're going to get unpacked again and uh, then go and grab some lunch. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for us. Subscribe to the channel for the rest of our Tenerife videos, plus all the other fun stuff we've got coming up as well. Turn those notifications on as well. You know it makes sense. And thank you very much for watching.